Hello everyone and welcome to our on-screen tutorial this week. My name is Odette Butcher and I am the ready-made mentor at ready-made stores and every couple of weeks I try to put together some sort of tutorial that will assist you on your journey with e-commerce and also drop shipping, but also covering areas that I am upskilling for myself because I also don't have a marketing background. I'm completely self-taught in terms of um, selling online and making a success of it. So today I wanted to chat to you about the sales funnel because it tends to pop up quite a lot in my reading online and on the various sort of blog sites that I follow and and I, I find that not often not many of us seem to know what a sales funnel is and there's actually many different types of funnels so I thought that today would be a good opportunity to cover that as well as go and look at some images because that tends to make everything um, come together and make a whole lot more sense. So what is a sales funnel? A sales funnel is the purchase funnel or purchasing funnel is a consumer focused marketing model that illustrates the theoretical customer journey toward the purchase of a good or a services, goods or services. How does a sales funnel work? A sales funnel is a step by step process that allows you to bring your potential customer one step closer to your offer and a buying decision through a series of marketing actions like automated emails, video articles, videos, articles, and landing pages that will do the selling for you. So it's very important to know how a sales funnel actually works and why we need it that it is so important. Understanding the concept of sales funnels is important because it's a useful module for visualizing the customer journey from initial awareness all the way through to conversion or a sale. The sales funnel provides a useful, a useful framework through which you can analyze your business and identify areas for improvement. So for example, once your sales funnel has been set up specific to your business and the products that you are selling, most importantly, your customers, then when there are issues with the sales process, you can go and look at the sales funnel and identify where those issues could be. And then you know where you can go to fix them, where to plug the holes, where to optimize and make things better. It's easy to remember the sales funnel main stages of the acronym, AIDA, awareness, interest, decision, and action. And you can actually see it playing in front of your eyes if you think of how it all works on social media, and then on Google and on YouTube. And you can see the adverts online that are priming you for awareness and then getting your interest interest, and trying to get you to make a decision. And then obviously um, funneling you in to take action. These four stages represent your prospective customer's mindset. Each stage requires a different approach from you, the marketer, because you don't want to send the wrong message at the wrong time. And it's very important to be thinking at all times about your customer's mindset. And it's also interesting to note, especially for e-commerce, that very often customers will actually visit the same product up to six times before they actually buy it. Or in our case, on our online shop, I often see that it will sometimes take six months for new experiences to start selling, which means that there's been a period of time over six months, usually a, a period of six months when someone has seen something that they've liked and they've saved it for a birthday or an anniversary and then they've gone back to buy it because obviously what we sell is specific to anniversaries and birthdays and so on. So if you're looking at the cycle of um, when a customer is most likely to buy your product, there's definitely, you might not see sales for a while, but don't underestimate that the awareness is happening. People know about your products, they're aware of it. It just hasn't come time for them to actually buy the product or service yet. 
there's actually quite a few different uh, sales uh, sales funnels as well, or should I say different types of funnels and not necessarily sales funnels. The following funnel types are sales generating templates designed to help you create clear pathways towards creating paying customers. So there are different types of funnels. Lead generation, a content funnel, a webinar sign-up funnel, a sales call booking funnel, an onboarding funnel, a review funnel, a limited time offer sales funnel, a cancellation funnel. So you need to find out what it is, again, from the beginning, laying your framework, your groundwork. What is it? What is the intention behind your campaign? And the more specific you are, the better your traffic and your leads are likely to be. So what is the difference between a marketing funnel and a sales funnel? A marketing funnel advertises a product or service to give leads a reason to buy, whereas the sales funnel deals with the leads from the marketing funnel. So you need two. You need the marketing funnel and then you need the type of sales funnel after the marketing funnel has done its job. Um, so the sales funnel deals with the leads from the marketing funnel, enticing them to buy, not once, but as often as possible. Your sales and marketing teams need the best technology to be as productive and as automated as possible. So I'm seeing a marketing funnel that does its job. And once that is correct, we then have a sales funnel that kicks in. And the sales funnel could be either a lead content webinar, sales call, onboarding, review, limited time offer, or a cancellation funnel. Those are different types of sales funnels. What are the seven layers of the sales funnel? There's generally a top four, but there's actually a few more. So I've given you the comprehensive one. Firstly, we create awareness, then interest, then evaluation, engagement, decision, and negotiation, and then it kicks in. Commitment to a sale or a purchase, renewal or a repurchase, and also reviving dead leads. That would be the eighth layer of a sales funnel because remember, even though our leads are not going anywhere, they've perhaps died, we can also use them for remarketing and retargeting, which is at a completely different level of discussion altogether. What is and why do you need a lead magnet? So a lead magnet is something that you would use on your website or on your landing page to actually get and attract and entice people, giving them something for free to please leave your email address, please leave your contact details. And that's usually like a nice um, little digital booklet. You'll see a lot of digital marketers will do that, um, offering you top tips or top techniques or top secrets. So depending what business it is that you have, what can you do to create a lead magnet so that people will want to give you their email address? And then of course, with the email address, it becomes so powerful because there's so much that you can do with emails. And that's with or without people knowing about it, but of course, complying with the, uh, the Papaya Act, with the Poppy Act. So in terms of um, why you need a lead magnet. The goal of a lead magnet is to gather email addresses, phone numbers, and names in order to build lasting customer connections. From there, the responsibility is on you, the marketer, to build brand loyalty through email marketing campaigns, special offers, product sneak previews, and more. In terms of how to build a sales funnel really quickly, Everything is all about your audience and you need to analyze your audience's behavior. The more you know about your audience, the more effective your sales funnel becomes. Capture your audience's attention, build a landing page with a really powerful call to action, create an email drip campaign and keep in touch. And there's so much that happens with email automation series. Again, that is a whole new discussion altogether. But I think in wrapping it up for today, we've learned a lot about the marketing funnel first and then the sales funnel, the different types of sales funnels that there are, having some sort of lead magnet to attract people to leave you with your email addresses. And then once you have the email address, 
what is it that you're going to do with it. I've also jumped onto Google for the very last few moments of our session together. And what I have done is I've actually gone in and selected sales funnel images, lead funnel images, and also e-commerce funnel images because most of us are drop shippers here. You can go onto Google and you can have a look at all of the visuals. So we've been looking at a sales funnel today and here's fabulous one that you can pull up just to give you some visuals in terms of what it actually looks like the leads, the sales call, the follow-up, the conversion, the sale. There it is all digitally happening. Pretty much all of them are the same. Or here it's awareness, interest, decision, and action. And they have some writing on the side, maybe some tech tools that they're going to do. Here is another classic one. Very, very classic sales funnel. Uh, this one is slightly longer to include the evaluation and purchase process. The lead generation one is quite interesting as well to include awareness, lead capture, prospect, qualified leads, sales qualified leads, opportunities, customers, and so on. There are some really, really great things that you can go and find on Google in terms of visuals. And I've also sound, found for myself that I'm enjoying YouTube as a, um, a search platform for videos as well as Pinterest, would you believe it? I used to think that Pinterest was just for, um, you know, baking cakes and recipes and, and gardening ideas. But actually, there, is so, there are so many visuals on there for the visual learner in terms of digital marketing, online advertising and e-commerce. So I hope today has been a helpful on-screen tutorial with some theory and also some visuals and a little bit of experience from my side. And I urge you to go and do a little bit of further learning on your side and to think about your own marketing funnel as well as your own sales funnel for your business and that you can put it into place very easily and also pinpoint where there could be problems and where you need to optimize. Guys, I hope that was beneficial for you today and I really look forward to seeing you sometime very soon. Take care.